Means Woodshop merch is now available. Check the link down in the description. I'm Kyle with Means Woodshop. Today we're going to make these cool wooden Japanese sandals. Let's check it out. Let's check it out. Best way that I could come up with to do this is to take my own shoe. I'm just gonna kind of try to trace around it, and then I could rough out kind of like a, a rectangle. Sometimes you need a big screw. Just gonna rough out this real quick, and then uh, do a more cleaner cut on the table saw. Set up so I can make the bottoms of the sandals. First I thought it was a little bit weird how much space is up at the front, but then I realized like duh, you gotta be able to move your foot forward when you're walking. I don't know who they was, but some stranger just came here and picked up a trailer. I got these little shaker pegs that I want to use for where your toe is going to go. I went ahead and put my foot on here and just made a mark where that should be. And I'm sparing all that footage because y'all don't need to see that. And I started the hole with a little drill bit because I don't want this big guy to wander. And I got a flag on there so I know not to go in too deep. I think I'll go ahead and sand the top of these before I glue those in. And with that, the final sanding done, the woodworking part of this is finished, so I'll just apply some spray lacquer and then I can start making the straps for the sandals. I'm sure somebody at some point is going to say, that spray lacquer is going to be bad for your feet. It's because it's touching your skin. Spray lacquer is completely safe when it's dry. The only way it's ever going to hurt you is if you decide to wash some Oreos down with it. I had never once gone on one of my videos and shot additional footage for it, even if I'd forgotten something. While I was editing this video, I realized I shot no footage for putting on the straps. What's up with the straps? So this is a case of, I think I thought this out too hard. There was a simple way to do it, and I don't think I did the simple way. I think I overcomplicated it. This is something I would normally save for the follow-up video for this, which will be out on Wednesday, but for the casual viewer, you might not be interested in that. For other viewers, you might, I'm not going to make you wait that long. The first thing was, I don't think you want to put these pegs on there, and I'll tell you why. It hurts your toes, for one, and after the fact, I'd already looked at lots of pictures before I made these, but I couldn't, I just couldn't figure out the straps, uh, but none of them had this peg on there. What I did was I just cut some old fabric, and I drilled some holes, and actually glued them down in those holes, and then just wrapped them around the peg, and glued them to the peg. 
I think the way to do it is to drill these three holes all the way through, tie a knot, bring your fabric up through here, and then take either end, pull it through, and do a knot. That way you won't have a hard peg that hurts your toes. It'll actually look the way it's supposed to look. So maybe another lesson to be learned from that is just not to think too hard about it. it was a, it's a simple explanation to do it. For some reason, focusing on it so hard, I just couldn't wrap my brain around it. So I may even take these off and redo it. I'm not sure. Either way, that's what's up with the straps. So let's get back to me and Adam to finish up this video. Okay, so here are the Japanese sandals done. Here they are. Japanese sandals. From my knowledge, Japanese sandals are very traditional. Because it's such an embedded part of Japanese culture, what I did is I, I try to put a lot of extra care into making them. Just more time and effort put into like sanding and shaping and just making them as, as nice as I could. If you like and enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. They say that helps with that YouTube algorithm. If you say give it a thumbs up, no, if they, they actually, actually give it a thumbs up. I'm sorry, I'm an idiot. <laughs> Subscribe to this channel because I have a woodworking project video every Friday and we do a follow-up on that project every Wednesday. Every Wednesday. That's two videos a week. That means you should click the notification bell so you don't miss any of those. Get a lot of content for a little money. No money, actually. A lot of content for no money. That's free. That's free. You get free content for then just click that bell. I think that's all I got. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.